hey what's up guys welcome to another video on salesforce bold so guys this video is going to be related to one of the toast message update what we are having in recent winter 24 release so as per the recent release update now you will be able to add links in your toast message you will be able to add hyperlinks which is i believe a very important functionality toast messages guys might seem simple but as per my suggestion it should be mandatory whenever you are doing some customization whenever you're using lightning web component or from wherever you can use toast messages you should have toast messages for success error at least they should be mandatory for info and warnings also you should be using toast messages because of its beautiful ui uh, so whenever someone will click on a button or whenever someone will trigger toast messages it will for sure display a ui of the message with a good background a message title and the close functionality as well so in this video i'll show you how you can create a toast message using the toast library itself we won't be using show toast event anymore okay another quick update i'll show you how you can add multiple links in the toast title and the toast description this is a very cool update in this toast messages thing another update would be i'll show you how you can handle toast close event if you want to perform any action when a toast message is getting closed or whenever user is clicking on the cross icon or the close button so usually if you will use the sticky notes the sticky notes will be there until user will close it right so i'll show you how you can perform a specific action whenever user is clicking on the cross icon on the sticky toast messages as well so let's start today's video guys i'm kapil your host and you're watching salesforce bold All right, guys let's start today's video so if you are following my blogs my videos so on my channel itself I, am, I might be having three or four videos related to toast messages already i have created videos around custom toast messages toast container multiple toast messages how to include it in the lightning web component how to build a generic component there are multiple videos around it so for these winter 24 uh, upgrades I'll be using one of those examples and I'll show you how you can use the toast library, how you can include links in your toast messages and how you can add action on the cross icon on the close button. Okay. So for that, I'll quickly go to my blog, which is salesforcepoll.com and uh, I'll search for toast. So if you'll see it is custom toast notification, toast message container, display notification there are four blocks i can see on this page there might be more uh, so for today i'll be using this toast message container block where i have shown the functionality like how you can add toast container and how you can display different different toast messages so let me show you the output first so this is going to be the output of the functionality which we'll be modifying for the uh winter 24 release okay so the existing functionality was you can click on button you will be getting toast message title icon description that's it, and the cross icon up for sure same for warning success and info okay so before modifying my code i would like to show you the existing functionality i will be explaining it using this code so let me open my vs code now okay so this is my VS code guys and here if you will notice on the HTML side, I'm not having much. I'm just having a lightning card which says toast container. And apart from that, I'm just having four buttons to different to display different different kinds of toast. So basically we are having error warning success and info toast messages. So I'm having four buttons here, four separate method, uh, methods to display these uh, different toast. Okay. So let's move to JavaScript quickly. So in JavaScript guys, if you will notice, I'm using show toast event. Okay, but for the new functionality, we won't be using show toast event. Instead of that, we will be using the toast library, which will be giving us the uh, toast.show function using which we'll be able to uh, display the toast messages. Okay, we'll, we'll be using toast container. So basically using toast container, you can add a container above your toast, which will be, you know, using which you can handle the toast message position as well like top left top right bottom left bottom right so you can add the toast containers using this toast container library and you can do the setup in the connected callback so you just need to uh, create an instance of it and then you can select like how many toast messages can be displayed in a container so for this example let's keep it four 
because we are having four kind of toast messages and this is the position like what should be the position of a toast messages so basically this is the position of the container and container will be containing all the toast messages for this demo the position is top right i'll keep it same now on these four different functions show error show warning show success and show info i'm having uh different toast messages here so here you can see the title message variant wherein this error here and i'm just creating the show toast event and dispatching this event the same functionality i'm using for other libraries uh, other functions as well right okay now let me show you what are the updates in the winter 24 release the winter 24 release will be using the lightning slash toast library you can skip using this uh, show toast event and platform show toast event because a lightning platform show toast event uh, will not be supported on lwr sites okay but you can use this lightning slash sort uh, slash toast this will be supported in that classes as well so first thing we'll do we will just remove this line and we will add i will import toast from lightning slash toast okay i have saved it now let me show you what will happen if i will be adding the new functionality here on the show error method and then we'll do the comparison like how it is different from this uh, event which we were discussing uh, previously okay so this thing also i'll remove for the comparison you can see the same thing is there in show warning as well okay now you can simply do toast dot show and here in this toast dot show you can simply give label first so as label i'll give sample toast title okay now in this label and message you can add links as well okay so links you can add as a parameters so for example uh, sample toast title at then I'm adding the first parameter okay now you need you can add parameters but when you are using label you can add attribute label links and you can add your URL and label there and uh, if you're using message you can use message links okay so for label this is basically title we will use label links and square brackets so here you can add multiple values so for label we will just add one value url https okay this is my url and label okay so for title i'm just adding one uh, link there one url there okay for message we will add more okay so let's add message as well so as a message i will have do like share and subscribe on then i will add my youtube channel which i will keep in my first parameter and uh, then we can add follow the then i will add my blog on the second parameter for new updates this should be fine now as it is a message we will add message links okay now here we will be adding multiple values so we will add first value url will be https youtube.com slash salesforce bold and as a label i'm adding youtube okay now you can add other parameters using comma curly braces again and your next parameter can go right here so my next parameter is the blog so for that i will add the url again i will copy the same url from here and copy this thing from here 
to here and in label I will add blog okay let me save it okay now you will you can add additional parameters like mode so for this demo I am keeping sticky mode okay variant as this is the error button show error method so we'll be using variant as error now another thing here what if you need to perform an action whenever user is closing this post right so for that you can use another attribute here which is basically a function on close so you can use this on close and here you can perform your action you can uh, call a function which will be having your functionality so for this demo i'll be just adding a toast uh, sorry not toast a log here and we can have toast close okay now this is fine okay now you need to add the this reference here as per the syntax okay i'll save it so this is going to be the new syntax so for example if you're having multiple toast components you can make these things generic if you're having more than one component on a page still you can make these things generic you can pass these values dynamically right now as i have removed the show toast i believe this should give me an error let me try so I'm deploying this to my org now. Okay, it is deployed. Now let me show you my org. Refresh. So first thing, uh, let me show you the URL link. So we have added it on the first button, basically. So here you can see this error uh, toast message, but here this is having one uh, link hyperlink and uh, the message is having two hyperlinks here so if i'll click here sample toast title at salesforce bold it will redirect you to the blog if i'll click here do like share and subscribe on youtube it will redirect you to the youtube channel <clears throat> and follow the blog same way you can get the blog as well so that's how you can add urls here another thing another interesting thing was uh, close one right so now if I'll click on this cross icon you can see toast close the console lock here so that's how you can uh, perform a specific action on the close of any toast event so this was something new recently introduced in the latest release so yeah so for these things the same way you can have warning toast success toast and uh, info toast as well you don't have to use the show toast event uh, library anymore so that it is for today guys if you're looking for complete code i'll be writing a blog around it where i'll be having complete code of this demo you can get it directly from there if you like today's video a uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching